Well, some Miami Valley school districts are supporting a proposal in the Ohio State House that would drop the requirement for standardized tests this school year. Two News reporter Adam Reif is live in the newsroom to break down the proposal. That bill would drop all state mandated tests and require the Department of Education to request a waiver for all federally mandated tests. A superintendent told me it's an impossible situation this year as the pandemic is compounding the effects of poverty, lack of internet connectivity, homelessness and food insecurity. And advocates of this bill say adding high pressure test days are making it worse. It's a great deal of stress on them on multiple fronts. It's already a challenge to get thousands of Springfield students on the same page. 1,400 are learning virtually, roughly 5,000 are learning in person. And Superintendent Dr. Bob Hill says there's already significant pressure. Now you're going to ask us to place kids in a high stakes testing, high stress situation in the middle of a pandemic to measure something that we already know. He says standardized tests do not accurately measure students' performance. They're a snapshot in time and are impacted by things like whether a student had breakfast that morning or what happened at the home the night before. They don't measure true knowledge and they're not usable for us because the data doesn't come back to us until a year later. It's also putting a huge strain on educators who have to adjust their lesson plans and test scores are often tied to teachers' performance evaluations. Those teachers are also trying to care for students' social and emotional well-being outside the classroom. That's their worry, that, that social part of it. And so a good portion of our students, you know, are, are sporadically here. That leads to learning loss. Dr. Hill said his own third grader came to him in tears, worried failing the state's reading test would mean he wouldn't move on to fourth grade. The stress that we're putting on our kids and our teachers is not okay. Superintendent Hill hopes this bill at least provides some relief to students and staff. He adds everyone is already working hard to address learning gaps in the next years to come. This bill will continue to have hearings in the House's Higher Education and Career Readiness Committee. In the newsroom, Adam Rife, 5 on 2.